Good evening everybody, it is Wednesday the 26th of April, um, I've just got down to my lone horse Yogi, sorry dude, um, I'm not riding him tonight because uh, my back is still in absolute agony, um, which I'll catch you up on in a bit, uh, I just need to go and rug him and feed him and poop it because um, he is living out so I will go and introduce you to him uh, and I'm kind of just doing this hump day vlog as a bit of a catch up really um, for those of you that don't really know me or follow my socials um, I just thought I'd update you as to what Jack's been up to and who Yogi is and um, this is Gus as well this is my little guy so uh, yeah let's go and do that can just make them out in the distance. Here he is, the big boy, aren't you? Hi, good boy. So Yogi was 12 last week. Um, I met him and his owner about two years ago um, on a fun ride with Jack. Um, Fast forward to February last year, Lizzie was looking for someone to loan him. I wanted something to jump and I said, well, let me have a quick sit and then see what I think. And um, yeah, he is, <laughs> he is a lot of horse. Um, he's 16.3. I didn't want anything on loan, coloured or grey or anything over 16 hands. And he is a coloured 16.3 hunter. Um, I absolutely adore him to pieces. Love the bones off him, bless him. He really does try. Um, I had my first fall off him three weeks ago this Friday and uh, yeah, unfortunately I've really done my tailbone in. I'm not sure what I've done, um, but yeah, it really hurts. So riding at the minute is really painful. So normally um, after work, I would go for a hack around the village um, or a little school in the field or there's a, um, there's just literally London stables here or there's a school down the, uh, down the lane which we can go and hire. Um, but yeah, so I do a bit of everything. I've had the side saddle on him. He was really fun, really enjoyed that. Took him to a show last season. Um, this season, I really want to hunt a trial. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a nervous person, um, but I've gone a little bit nervous. It's a bit different when you've been jumping horse for 12 odd years and then you start jumping something else. Um, he is really, really bold and brave. He'll try into anything, um, but he's got a really big jump. <laughs> And um, yeah, I bought my own saddle for him because I, I can't ride in a GP and I, it was just not working out. So I bought him a beautiful Kenton Master saddle, exactly the same as Jack's jump saddle. Um, and if I move on from him, then at least I have something for a future horse um, moving forward. So I see it as an investment, guys. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, so that's Yogi. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> okay, I'm at Jack. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I'm trying to keep my eyes open. So I'm quickly just going to give him a groom and then go through what we've been doing really for the past two years. Um, yeah, I don't know whether to look at the camera or look at you. I don't, I don't know. He's excited. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hello. What are you diddling? Boop. <laughs> okay, so I don't normally come down on Monday, Wednesdays or Fridays. He is on full livery. He gets ridden Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays I'm at Yogi, so I give myself uh, and he Mondays and Fridays off. Um, but I thought I'd just come down tonight because he had Indiba yesterday. Um, good boy. So I'm going to give him a quick groom, um, see how his leg is. Um, and then just basically talk you guys through what's been happening. Shall we? Okay. <laughs> He's all brushed already, stable is all done. Um, so he's got a hay crate here, so I'm just gonna sit here. Hi, beautiful. 
Okay, so Jack is 22 now, and kind of for the last two years, uh, he's been rehabbing, really. Uh, so end of 2020, I put my friend's side saddle on him. It's something I've always wanted to do, so I thought, let's get our own made. Um, I did try and hire some and trial them uh, to buy, but fortunately, he is a, he's a modern horse. He's got quite a wide back and deep long rib cage, so nothing fit him. Um, they're made for the olden styled, like warm blood thoroughbreds that are quite narrow. And he's he's not he's a, he's a big boy. He is kind of like medium wide wide, chunky. Uh, so he had to have one made. Absolutely in love with my saddle. It's a Rob Jenkin side saddle. Let me move it so you can see him. So it's a Rob Jenkins side saddle. I got it in June, end of June, start of July 2021. Um, we'd only sat side saddle probably around 10 times between uh, end of 2020 to when I got my own side saddle. Um, and the first thing I did was take it straight to the beach for a gallop. <laughs> and we've been cross country in it. We've done loads of hunt rides, hedge hopped in it. Uh, and unfortunately, end of 2021, he blew a tendon just in the field. I just turned him out while I mucked him out on a rainy day. And yeah, uh, the next day, comes the vet confirmed, he blew his SDFT, uh, so that's his superficial digital flexor tendon, on the near <laughs> Bless you. Uh, so he spent kind of five and a half months at box resting and the scans he had between them were about four or five and they never got any better the last scan he had was january this year still not great but the vets kind of told us it's not really fair to keep him just walk hacking uh, that's not what you enjoy doing is it i mean he loves hacking but walking isn't fun anymore when you're fit and ready to go so um he came back into work june 2022 um, where he just started doing a lot of hacking. We did go do some showing um, in our concourse outfit. We just did a bit of walk and trot. And then March this year, he's just started to canter. Um, April 6th, 16th of April, we went and did our first Area 12 side saddle competition. There was only six in the class, we came fifth. Um, I'm not competing for placings anymore. Yes, it's amazing to get a rosette, but just any outing where I can get a photo opportunity and just get some memories of what, you know, what we're doing really. Um, the next kind of six months is really exciting. We've got Windsor coming up in less than three weeks now. My concourse outfit arrived today. I've got a new concourse outfit. Um, and we've got just a few little things to tick and ties over until uh, the side saddle nationals at the end of July, beginning of August, uh, later on in the year. So between now and then, I'm just going to keep him ticking over and I'm, I'm not going to go at his pace, I'm going to go at my pace because his pace by now, he'd be wanting to go for a gallop. Unfortunately, he's never going to be able to gallop or jump ever again. Um, so it's not a biggie for me. Um, I will miss being behind his ears on a hunt field. I will miss hedge hopping. But he's here and I'm very, very lucky. There are a few friends that have lost their loved ones um, the last year or so. So yeah, I'm extremely lucky that he's still here and he's still wanting to do all of this for me and to make more memories. Thank you for watching our hump day vlog of a bit of a catch up. If there's anything you'd like to know, please drop me a comment and I will answer. Night everyone.